One way you can remember all the treatments and nursing interventions for septic shock is the mnemonic, septic shock. So the first S is for start antibiotics. Because we know the majority of the time this is going to be a bacterial infection, antibiotics are going to be our number one medication for treatment of sepsis. You're going to start with broad spectrum antibiotics, and then once we identify the causative organism, we're going to specialize and pick whatever is needed for that one. You don't need to wait until you know exactly what the causative organism is. It's very important that they start broad spectrum antibiotics right away. So first, we're going to do that. The next thing we might want to do is give enteral nutrition. Um, the body is going through a lot right now. It's under a lot of stress. So giving enteral nutrition can kind of decrease the stress that the GI system is under at the moment. Some medications we might want to give. We might want to start them on PPIs, again, for that stress. We don't want them to get like a gastric ulcer or a bleed as a result of being in septic shock. So something like a PPI can help reduce the risk of that. Pressors, vasopressive medications. Remember, they are hypotensive, so their blood pressure is too low. One of the things we need to do is increase that blood pressure. So these medications, they cause vasoconstriction, which will help increase the blood pressure. Treatment is gonna be in the ICU. These patients are very, very ill. So very unstable, they need to be in an intensive care setting. I, we have a couple of them for I. So we're going to insert Foley because we're going to be on strict INO. We want to make sure that they are making urine or if they're not making urine, uh, we need to be aware of that. Ionotropic medications, again, partly why they're going to be in the ICU is because some of these medications are a lot more intense and a lot more severe. So these medications help your heart beat stronger. So we know part of the issue with the perfusion or the lack of perfusion in shock is the heart's not really pumping. It's not really beating like it's supposed to. It's not doing its job very well. So these medications are meant to help with that. And then they might need insulin. Sometimes they can have these really high blood sugars that are going to need to be controlled. So they might even need to be on an insulin drip. C is for checking those blood sugars, so that glucose. Our goal in septic shock is to get that blood sugar less than 180. And then of course, checking vitals frequently. And in the second part, the shock part, <laughs> um, we might need to give steroids in some cases that can help. Um, sedation, so some of these patients are gonna be very acutely ill, they're gonna need jumping down to O, oh, oxygen, and they might need to be on mechanical ventilation. Well, in order for that to happen, you need to be sedated. H is for hemodynamic monitoring. Of course, we're going to be keeping up on all of our labs. C is for those cultures, those blood cultures, so we can identify the exact thing that's causing it so we can treat it better. And they're definitely going to need a central line. And then finally, our last letter here is K, keep IV fluids going. When you're in shock, you have that low blood pressure. One way we can help bring your blood pressure up is by giving you lots of IV fluids. So this is our little mnemonic to learn septic shock nursing interventions.